Okay, this is Vintage Birds, how it looks after about hmm, one week of stitching. Yeah, I started it on Thanksgiving. It's now December 1st, so I, as you can tell, I couldn't put this down. I absolutely love it. I, I literally, I cannot put it down. I just have to just keep stitching on it. So Santa and his feathered friend, my Dimensions Kit, is has been put to the side. Poor Santa, he's just not ever going to get done. So here's a little detail of some specialty stitches right in the, so right, where are we at here? Uh, in the vase there, uh, for oblong stitches there and some satin stitching right there. Uh, this, I'm I'm not going to assume I'll get this done this year, so I didn't put the 7. It might have to be an 8 there for 2018. Same stitches over here. Now these are each going to have an Algerian eyelet in it, which I have never done one of those before. They look pretty simple, just tedious. So, I don't know, I may even, maybe I'll film me doing one. And Peacock needs legs, and yeah, that's how it's looking so far. I love it. Once again, this is on 32 count. Oh, I'm sorry. 36 count? 36 count. And I'll show you the tag right here. Legacy. Edinburgh. 36 count. Picture this plus. And I am stitching 1 over 2. This is the first time I've ever stitched 1 over 2, I believe, and I really like it. You don't have to worry about your threads being lined up, your stitches looking looking untwisted because there's only one thread to worry about. So I do miss my loop start though. There it goes. Okay, well, I'll check in with you in a bit and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I'm back. It's actually the next day and before I decided to do one of the Algerian eyelets, I decided to go ahead and finish stitching all of the little outlines. So I got that done last night, last night and this morning. So all I need to do now is just fill in each one of these little squares with an Algerian eyelet. And I'll be using Weeks Dye Works Peacock Color. And this is what it looks like, but it's all knotted up because when I tried to unravel it, it got knotted. So I'll fix that later. But I got a piece, got it stabilized on the back. And because I have a camera, whoa, sorry about that. Because I have a camera sort of in front of my face here. I went ahead and found where I need to go down kind of the center of my first stitch. So I'll make sure I get that in the right spot. So let's give this a try. Let me make sure you're lined up and I can't tell if this is in focus or not, but we shall try it. So I'm going to go down into the center and eventually this stitch supposed to be pulled tight to have a hole in it, a hole in the center, but I didn't anchor it. You know, I feel like it's not anchored enough on the bottom to really pull it hard, so I think as I go, I'm going to try pulling it a little more. So basically, oops, okay, no, you don't come back up the middle because I just went down the middle. So what I'm going to do with this is go in every single hole around these edges and then come down the center so it looks really easy I know I have never done it before so I'm pulling it kind of tight which just feels wrong because all right let's not get knotted this soon I just don't know how hard I'm supposed to, supposed to pull so. kind of seems to be pulling from those side holes too, so maybe I need to kind of pull from that direction a little. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. So I guess that's the key, is to kind of pull that way. I just don't know how hard I'm supposed to tug on this. I suspect by the time I do all of these, I'll be pretty good at it. Alright. 
I'm just going to probably speed up the camera a little bit so you don't have to watch me struggle with each and every hole. Okay, so I've come around full circle, but I feel like I might have missed one here. Maybe that's just a thicker thread, so I can't tell if I should do another stitch there to fill that in. Because it just doesn't, I don't really like that extra space, so I'm going to just do an extra thread there to fill that in, which didn't do anything. So, hey, I'm going to try another one here, so I'm probably putting more stitches in and I should be right here, but I don't like that there's that little gap there. The joys of stitching on linen. Well, there we go. I think that doesn't look all that great, but for my first one, mm, it's okay. So what I'll do is continue to do the rest of them, and then if I just get better as I go along, I can always come back and redo that one. So I think I'm going to end off my thread and start the next one just in case I do want to take that one out it won't really be attached to the rest of them but uh, there you go thanks for stitching along or watching along with me as I do my first Algerian eyelet stitch and we'll see how much better they look when I get to the end fast forward a little bit of time and I've had a little bit of practice got my threads all straightened out so they look nice on that and I've done four so far and what I've learned I ended up doing this one over because when I turned it over there was a big knot on the back and I think that was contributing to the way it wasn't really looking nice on the front and another thing I learned is you have to use a magnifying glass I mean a magnifier whatever kind of magnifier you use it's I feel like that uh, is essential and uh, the other only thing that I learned that I still helps out. I don't know if this is a proper way of doing it, but when um, I go down into the, the first middle hole here, I just was taking my needle and kind of opening it up a little bit and kind of stretching it out. That way it didn't have to tug so much on, on these outer holes, you know, and pull them in. It still does a little bit. I have to work on my tension. Actually, when I did a, a zoom in on these, I realized that my tension actually on all my other stitches is probably a little too tight. So no entering of the fair for me until I get that under control, right, Lana? Can see definitely can see daylight through those uh, through the holes. So anyway, that's what I've learned so far is just to kind of open that up a little bit, and it helps make this nice eyelet hole in the center. And they're looking better as I go along. So like I said, I should probably be an expert by the time I'm done with all this. Okay, see you in a little bit. Good morning guys, I'm back again. This is the next day and as you can see, I finished all of the Algerian eyelets. Um, by the way, I just woke up so I've only had two sips of coffee so you might notice my gruff morning voice because this is literally the first thing I've said today. Okay, I said I would probably be an expert by the time I finish doing all these and I can say that I'm not. Every one of them I tried to improve upon and yeah they look good believe me I'm not disappointed in them but 
I think, and I don't know for sure because I, I didn't do a ton of research on it, but I don't know if these holes are too big. You know, now, let me see if I can put something behind them. Well, maybe my hand. Um, well, you can't really tell, but they're, I don't, I just don't know. I don't know if I've pulled them too tight. After I'm, after being finished with them and looking back, I feel like my tension is too tight on them. So, I don't know, chime in if you know how to do these. I'm just curious. I'm certainly not going to take them out and redo them because I love them. I think that they look nice. I just am not sure that I did them correctly. Um, I tried to keep them even so that they all had about the same amount of, you know, that the hole was the same size in all of them. This one's a little bit big. And, oh, you may notice something different from yesterday. I finally tried to do some um, uh, press on, the press on nails, the impress. It was actually the impress brand. I've been so inspired by Danielle's nails and how nice they always look in her videos. And I bought some a little while ago, but haven't used them yet. Because my nail beds are kind of round. They're kind of round and flat. So, you know, I wasn't quite sure how they would stay on my nails, you know. Was, they just, my nail, I just don't really like the shape of my nail beds. And I think I might have used a little bit too wide of ones on some of them. But anyway, for the most part, I really like them. They were really easy to put on. I don't know how well they'll stay on because this is only day two and I haven't really done anything but stitch. But I did notice that I usually wear my nails pretty short. And these are a little longer than my nails are. They're not long, but they're longer and I've noticed that I don't have fingertips anymore. So <laughs> I just kept losing the needle. You know, you have to kind of learn to do kind of the side grab thing. So. Those of you with nails know when you go from having short nails and you have the use of your fingertips to having long nails and all of a sudden your fingertips disappear and you got to get used to it for a few days. Okay, so I digress. Back to the Algerian eyelets. I think it's just turned out beautifully. I absolutely love this variegated thread that I used. The, uh, was it Weeks Styworks that I showed you yesterday? The peacock color? Oh my gosh really really beautiful love it so I'm happy with it it was a lot of work I pretty much pretty much all I worked on yesterday just here and there I was gonna save that for last but I kind of like the idea of starting from the top and just working down um, this over here is what I stitched last night and I made a mistake because there's actually supposed to be, see how there's two of these here, there's supposed to be two there, and so I skipped one and started doing this, and it was about one o'clock in the morning, and I thought, okay, I better just stop. So to start off this morning, I'm going to frog this little area right here, which isn't too bad, and then continue working from there. I don't think there's anything more I need to say about this, other than I'm still loving it, and I'm still going to continue working on it until I feel inspired. I've really been inspired to go back to doing some type of Christmas stitching though. Um, everybody's been stitching so many Santas and Christmas stuff on Instagram. I'm really getting inspired to go back to my Santa. So I'll do that probably this week, but I'm afraid if I put this down, I won't pick it up for a while. So I don't know, I'm always torn. I don't know what to do when I really want to stitch two different things. Um, but I will finish that Santa because it's time he gets finished. So, okay, that's all I really have to say for now. I'm going to go finish my coffee, wake up a little bit, and maybe I'll check in when I have something else to show, either on this or my Santa. I hope you guys all have a good stitching day. Mm -hmm.